assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to all of my lovely people. I hope you are all keeping safe and doing great. Welcome to my personal Rukia journey. So today, be it in light, I'm going to be sharing with you how I learned that a gene has been living inside my stomach since childhood. As you can see, how big the stomach is. This always happens when the gene is active. My stomach will be very bloated, very hard and painful. So how on life, ever since I was young, all I could remember that when I'm young, I always have a um, problem with my stomach. I always have stomach ache, but I never know that it's due to a gene living in the stomach. I know this when I was in Dairo Shifa in Lagos. The gene inside spoken and I don't know how to explain this, but I hope you understand anyway. During a Rukia section, a gene make us realize that black magic was done on me when I was young and the magic was put inside the food for me to eat. Subhanallah, during the Rukia section, I actually saw the pot that contained the magic. So be careful when you are when you are about to eat and always protect your sugar from eating anyway. And when you are about to eat, don't forget to say your atkar, bismillah. And if you forgot to say it before you start. So before you put anything in your mouth, Always follow the, the etiquette of eating and drinking in Islam. Like washing your hand before you eat, saying Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim before you eat, eating from what is in front of you, and eating with your right hand because Shaitan eats with his left hand. The Prophet Islam says, when any one of you eat, he should eat with his right hand. And when he drinks, he should drink with his right hand, for the devils eat with his left hand and drink with his left hand. The etiquette of drinking is quite different from the etiquette of eating. It is forbidden to drink while standing. The sooner of drinking is to sit, except for semzem water, although there is different opinion on this whether you have to drink zemzem water standing or sitting. There is a lot to be said, but time is of essence. I would kindly advise you to go and read more about the etiquette of eating and drinking because it is very important to know this, especially when you are dealing with gene possession, evil eyes and black magic. One thing that I would like to add for those who are dealing with issues like this, is that you should always have Ubukia water at hand and you should make it your main drink. Also, if possible, try and cook with it. Anyway, I leave you with this information. I hope you take note of it. And most importantly, apply it to your day-to-day -day life. With this, I leave you in the care of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from all evil. The one we can see and the one we can see. Amen. Jazakumullah Karen for watching. I hope you learn one or two things from this video. If you do, kindly like, subscribe, and don't forget to put on the notification bell. Stay blessed and safe. Lots of love. Ewat.